right. Hey, uh, PCH Multimedia, we are here at NAMM 2020. Really, really excited. Just finished up the tour, uh, the guided tour through Universal Audio's uh, little compound on the other side of this wall, which is something very special. We'll put some photos at the tail end of this to wrap it up. Uh, but really excited to spend some time talking with Thomas right now about the Luna launch, which is a very awesome piece of software as somebody who uses Universal Audio per equipment personally. Thomas, thank you very much for your time. Hey, no worries. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming by. Welcome to NAMM 2020 UA and the Luna launch. Yes, yeah, so yeah. exciting. I mean, we got spacesuits and uh, a bar, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. everything. Time travel, everything. Like planets rotate it. It's crazy. Yeah. It, this is like <laughs> a Disney ride just getting in here. Uh, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. You guys have gotten that really a next level campaign around this. Yeah, thank you. Which really speaks to how exciting this, this special release is. Can you tell us a little bit more about Luna for those who may be uh, you know, living in a bubble and not already caught on yet? Yeah, all the, the amount of buzz and speculation there's been, it's probably taken a while to filter through as to what it actually is. Yeah. Right? But um, hopefully some of your viewers are familiar with the Universal Audio and uh, Apollo interface range, specifically the Thunderbolt interfaces. So our audio interface is like the X4 behind me and the twin that you use in your studio, for example. Um, they run our plugins in what we call DSP environments. So we have shark processing on the interface and let you run the plugins for real-time workflow, i.e. you can emulate the sound of a Neve preamp or a Fender guitar amplifier or a, right, the 55. one of our own legendary 1176 compressors right in here and get the sound of analog in your interface while you're recording. So people are used to that. They're used to seeing that from UA. They're used to the Apollo console software, which is the effectively the digital mixer that's running within the interface, right? right? And you would normally run that console software alongside your workstation to record. So where we're taking, you know, the Apollo now is transforming it into the most inspiring, analog sounding, fastest, and most deeply integrated workflow of a recording system, which is Luna, linked with your Apollo interface, right? That's the quickest way to explain it. It's a recording platform based around your Apollo Thunderbolt interface. You need an Apollo Thunderbolt interface to work with it. Right. But the big news of the show is Luna software is free for all Apollo Thunderbolt users. So Phenomenal. if you own an interface, when we launch this in spring, so in a few months time, 2020, yep. you can just download this from your UA account and run it with your, your Apollo interface. So it's a interface. full version, not a uh, skinny down light artist only. It's, it's a yeah, full there's, version. There's only one version of the Luna application. Yeah. Phenomenal. But then what we have and this is why it's such a big launch for us at the show. For years and years and years, we've been asked to do lunar instruments or universal audio instruments, right? VIs. But the big thing for us is running them now within the lunar ecosystem within the application. We have lunar instruments. So for the first time, we're launching a Moog, Mini Moog, or Moog, I should say. Yep. People, you know, you know, I'm British, so I get it wrong, <laughs> right? But um, the Mini Moog, we have a Ravel Grand Piano, which I can actually show you and bring up on screen here. Yep. So here we have the Mini Moog. So this is a lunar instrument. It runs within the software. So the lunar itself will be free of charge, but the Moog itself will be a, a paid instrument. You will buy that. Right. Us, right. So you have this wonderful analog fat basses, lead sounds, everything you need to create kind of good synth sounds just right there. We also have an instrument that comes included with Luna called Shape. So this is something that you would get included, right? Which has samples from Orange Tree. You have orchestral sounds from Spitfire, one of our partners in the UK. We have content created by UA ourselves. So this is an instrument we've made with effects built in. It has uh, sampling and synthesis, so like a combined engine. So that's all you need to start writing great songs from an instrument point of view, running within Luna, that's there, okay? But then you can add things like the Moog or the Ravel Grand Piano. So I'll just load that here quickly so you can see this change. Yep. So this is now a faithfully sampled Steinway Model B piano in uh, Oceanway Studios running within Luna here. So this will run there. We'll just open the GUI, there we go. And then we have the ability to blend between close and far microphones in the studio with these spotlights. I this, love the visual cue. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like a huge deal because we've been asked for maybe 10 plus years. When a UA with their world-class modeling, you know, people trust the fact that we nail the sound of all this vintage gear with physical emulation, right? Physical modeling. When are we going to do instruments? Well, we've done that as part of the Lunar launch. They run inside Lunar. Right. So you now have this like ultra resonance technology that we've done, which models the resonances within the piano to really, truly nail like the best studio piano sound. So if I get this right, we basically got 
the, the legacy and the hindsight of and all the knowledge that Universe Audio brings from years and years of making hardware, that you then emulated and created these plugins that via console 1.0, 2.0, et cetera, would yeah. pipe into a, you know, uh, uh, the DAW of your choice. Now you're actually taking control over that to where we have something that's very similar in, in uh, looks very similar to console, but is a full-fledged DAW, which also opens the opportunity to have um, uh, instruments uh, on top of the portfolio of existing plugins you have that emulate your compressors and EQs and things of that nature. Exactly, yeah, but we're, we're not looking at Luna as a DAW as such, because that's okay. a really old term. Like, the yeah. way we look at that is, uh, when, you, when we first moved from tape recording, we went to computers, we were recording yep. digitally, and it was quite unique, you know, to have a software-only workflow. But the beauty of Luna is it's not a software-only workflow. You have the hardware of the Apollo, you must have a Thunderbolt Apollo to run Luna. Okay. But what Luna is doing is moving between the native environment of the Mac and then when you need the lowest possible latencies for tracking, being able to shuffle the processing to and from the DSP and the Apollo. So you have that workflow that feels like you were just recording in an analog studio with a console. Right, it's real time, you don't have the lag. Exactly. The, the, uh, the vocalist can find their pitch and not have the, the, exactly. the problems you have with like a Logic or a, you know yeah. some of these other approaches. Totally, yeah. So when you're, you sort of, you take the first component, which is the Apollo, then you have the Lunar application. We've talked yeah. about Lunar Instruments because I think that's like a really nice kind of shiny headline for your customers, right? People yeah. watching. It's yeah. about music creation, right? Yeah. And media creation. But when you get into the deep workflow of Luna, we have things called Lunar Extensions, which are also uh, really unique to this. So built into the tapestry of Luna here, we have a tape module. So you can run multi-track tape, so effectively like a two-inch tape machine built in, running natively on the Mac CPU. So we're now leveraging like the benefits of these really powerful Apple computers and also the benefits of our the DSP. highly protected and also very stable, very predictable UAD DSP when necessary. Right, right. right. So uh, with, Orc, with uh, Luna itself, when you buy it, um, sorry, when you get it for free, I should say, <laughs> yeah. you get the uh, Oxide Tape plugin included for free. Okay. And then when you buy the Studer plugin, here you can then upgrade to a slightly more complex tape machine so you'll see here you have the ability to change tape formulations now, and tape speeds on anything that might be running that AA100 machine. Now, now is this uh, similar to the plugin that you had for regular Green. console? This is a, the equivalent to that? Yeah, so it's the same sound as the Oxide Tape plugin and also the Studer A100 U82 plugin. Right, the same, um, okay. But the workflow is different, and the nice thing is if you already own the U82 um, Studer A100 plugin, you will receive the Lunar Extension version free of charge. Okay. So when you move into the lunar environment, what's so cool here is that you have individual um, like repro EQ and bias controls and saturation. So you can still, for example, have, you know, channels of tape all on like one machine, Got but you. you have a global set of controls here. So you could change the tape speed and the tape formulation and all of those machines, you know, like all across your drums, for example, are going to benefit from that sound. and you get that analog punch and that musicality and that glue that you would get by tracking on a two inch machine but you can actually run four decks in a in lunar effectively so you can see here i've got a b c and d slots mm -hmm. we could have four student machines one on drums one on vocals one on keys one on guitars and globally set the tape speed and the tape type but individually set the saturation and that's all running using a mac cpu and then in the inserts view here, you could load UAD plugins, you can load Your audio old. units, yep. so third-party plugins. You can also run audio units and instruments instead of the lunar instruments. So you can compose with our stuff, stuff you know and love. You have unlimited audio tracks, MIDI tracks, buses. You get that whole workflow, like single window composition, and it's super creative. It sounds analog. Right, right, and yeah. The main backbone of it all is free with your Apollo. That's amazing. Yeah, we, we actually, as part of the tour, we were able to A B test with and without the uh, the tape effect added in, uh, right. as well as the uh, the bus sum summing uh, with the Neve. Yeah. Uh, so that's available as well, too, right? Absolutely. So moving on from the tape extensions, yeah. we also have the console emulation or the console extension. Yeah. So 
here you have on any bus within or any bus track within Luna, you could have, for example, a, a straightforward summing node, you know, where all of the channels will go to that bus and combine. And that's just going to sound great, but very much like a digital mix bus. But then if you add the new summing to this, you now have the sound of a 70s discrete um, 1272 mi mix amplifier that was found in all of the old 80s series Neve. So it's that British glue, you get this kind of three-dimensional punch. You have a headroom control, so you can choose how hard you hit the mix amplifier. You have a trim control. You can turn it on and off, like you said, so you can A, B, what it's like using a regular digital playback versus a really great analog sounding console version. Yeah. And you have different impedances, so you can actually change the way it sounds. The way I describe it is, one is more airy and it has this beautiful sort of sparkle, and another one's really like powerful and it just punches in the low end, right? right. And you can voice that. So you could have, you could have 100 tracks in here, you could have a drum bus with a different Neve setting on it, you could have a different one on your piano, on your vocal bus, on your main mix bus. So you can just like, slowly but surely, weave this like depth of sound from two inch tape through all of our processing for all of your regular audio units and everything that you like to use mixed into a Neve console right in Luna you know you can buy that Neve something when this is available in spring right 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 that's awesome so then and this also does the full like uh, cut and stitch and yeah, all that editing is well. so fully featured. So, okay, yeah, there you go. You know, you have, uh, for example, I'll just make all the tracks higher uh, here, so you can yep. see a bit more. See a little more information, you, yeah, yeah. You have trims, single point editing, so contextual editing. We have fades. There's a, a gain control per clip here. We also have pitch, so you can actually type in, you know, for example, like a, an octave up or an octave down, or a third up or a fifth, and create harmonies or double something with an octave higher. I actually adore that feature. Yeah. I use it to make guitar, electric guitars sound like bass guitars, or right. do an octave up fuzz on a bass synth, or uh, build a vocal harmony and let a singer like learn which notes we should try and then let them re-sing it, or just use it because it sounds so good. You can just take the lead vocal and make harmonies below it, just right. by duplicating the track and then chopping it up and pitching it. So we have all of this stuff in here. You've got fully featured mixing with automation, trim mode, um, version, so you can do take after take, you know, and loop around and record. Just keep going through and then pick the version that you pick, want. Pick the best bits. Excellent. Yeah. And then as far as like learning curve, things like uh, keyboard commands, you guys use like Pro Tools style commands for people that are going to yeah, try yeah. to kind of make the move over or like uh, maybe even like control interface support. We haven't got control support um, at the moment. Okay. It's something that we know people are heavily asking for. We well, have already. an amazing amount for 1.0. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> this is like the way we we've been describing it is, you know, UA have been around for a very long time, actually since the 50s. Yeah. Apollo's been out for quite a long time. Luna is, this isn't even 1.0 software, right? Yeah. So we now have years and years of a whole space ride. You know, there's a journey into the Lunaverse, we're calling it, right? So yeah. you just let us know what's really cool in the application. So when this is available for public, uh, public use, there's a feedback button in the top right hand corner, which when you're connected to the internet brings up a form. And yep. you can then tell us, oh, I really want a control surface and it should do this. Right. And if you let us know, we want to hear from everybody. We want to know what you want, right? Sure. Yeah. You know? But for where well, we are now. Well, and that's um, where a lot of the other companies I think have really struggled is, is actually finding their way. You know, they get some some solutions that aren't very logical, uh, some solutions that have not uh, not really continued to enhance and stay at a time. So seeing you come out with this technology with this great you know, background and knowledge and, and hindsight of what the tool really needs to to be in a professional environment. It's super exciting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, there's so much we can do with this, but this is like right now just to load it up and create. You can record, you can write MIDI, you can edit, you can automate. We've got some really cool features for exporting your mix downs so you can do you know, select all the tracks you want to export. You could do all tracks. You can take them with or without effects and stuff. So you can easily wow. transfer stems off for yeah. remix or to move to something else if you need to. Um, and also, it's worth mentioning, Apollo console isn't going away. Like, that is a okay. valid workflow for people that need third-party software. Maybe you're doing some noise reduction or some mastering work and you use a different piece of software. We see Luna as something you're going to try alongside, mm -hmm. maybe migrate to, maybe use it for tracking, maybe use it for the sound of it, you know. 
but you can go in and out of it. You can bring stuff in, you can bring stuff out, you know. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to try it after, you know, starting with Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One, right? Yeah, you you all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I touched a lot of tools. Uh, this is the most exciting to me, though. Okay. Uh, I got to say, I'm really excited to get my hands on it and try it out when it comes out. And, um, you know, you guys obviously have a great sound. You've got a great start. And I can't wait to see where the, you know, where, where this evolves to. So, Thanks so uh, much. Thomas, is there anything else about Luna? I mean, I feel like this has been a lot of really great information. Yeah, that was well. I mean, we've covered the instruments, we've covered the extensions, the fact that there's native processing and yep. our UAD stuff. We've talked about the fact you need an Apollo yep. to run it and Apollo Thunderbolt, and the fact that it's free yeah. with some things Phenomenal. you can add. Uh, I think so. I think we've covered pretty much most of it. There's so much more I could show you. It's so okay. deep already, but that's like the highlight reel of like major features, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right. No, this is phenomenal. Now, uh, obviously, this is a bright, shining star in the sky that everyone has drawn all their attention to. Yeah. Uh, quick, is, is there anything else happening with Universal Audio, uh, either here or just you know, come upcoming that might be interesting to our viewers? Well, sure. So, I mean, this is the the Lunar recording system with your interfaces, but we also make other products. So, we have the Ox Amp Top Box uh, on just behind on me. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a load box that you can use to record like a, say you have a 100 watt valve guitar amplifier and it's super loud. You have an attenuator so you can click it down and play it in your apartment and not wake up your neighbor or your baby or whatever. Right, because you got to crank it to get the tone. Exactly. But you don't want to be in the same room as it. Yeah, so now yeah. you can be, or you could be silent and practice on headphones. But it's also available to record and you have a, a Wi-Fi app that lets you dial in guitar sounds. And we recently did a 1.2 software update for that, which brought a bunch of 4x12 cabinets with uh, V30 drivers to it, which gives you like the sort of classic heavy metal and really hard rock sounds that you know a lot of people are looking for. So we've we've got cabinets in there that can take you through the very clean, you know, bluesy and country sounds like all your, the way to like super heavy metal. Kind of like your Fender 55 and some of the angle stuff that you guys have been doing. Well, so yeah, there more of the plugins that run in here but with yeah. us we have like a variety of different tweed cabinets one by twelves you know two so a good by, a good breadth of two by twelves open style. backs there's closed backs there's yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff but the beautiful thing is you still use your cheap guitar amplifier and your pedal board but you use ox to do the the recording environment so the room you're in the cabinet the mics that are on the guitar cab so you know you so can if you're have in your an apartment it sounds like you're in a studio exactly yeah so imagine now you have an uh, apollo and luna and you can record and then you have an ox and your guitar rig set up you can now take your ox directly into this and you're recording ox tracks you've basically got a world-class guitar amp in an amazing studio with great mics silently recording getting all the tone of your tube amp coming into luna with a neve console with tape with instruments you need grand piano it's, it's right. nuts right so that's there you should go check out ox okay uh, that's you know you can give it a try and play it around the corner uh, so there's loads of highlights really we're always bringing out new plugins there's, there's so much going on at UA. excellent well maybe i'll get my buddy kevin he's a much better guitarist than i am he's here floating around somewhere i'll maybe i'll get him over there and do a little uh, recording of that as well that'd be great Tom, thanks so much thank man. you so much for your time appreciate yeah. that welcome to nam 2020 we'll see you at the next booth thank you for tuning in.